Hello, hello. Hope you're very well. Welcome to BBLB. It's day 11. It's 6.59 in the booth today. The King of Breakfast Radio. Apart from Terry Wogan. Chris Mills. <laughs> and it's all going very well, as you can see. We, uh, we spoke to him. Keep it together, big guy. We spoke to him earlier on. We can see that later on in the show. There's Alan with him as well. Oh, my God. Uh, as you know, on Friday, she was the first housemate to be evicted from the uh, Celebrity Hijack house. I can tell you categorically, people, that Jade's here as well. Where is she? <laughs> yes, she is. I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. I'm still nervous. I'm crying, I'm crying, I'm crying. I'll do a funny little dance in a minute. I get booed, but it's not a problem. Go on, do the dance, do the dance. She starts, she literally goes mental in a minute and starts doing a really good, cool dance. Do we see it? Do we see it? Do we see it? There we go. Yeah! Woo, 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 woo. Good girl. Good for her. And she is happy to be with us today, which is good news. And live in the studio, a man who gets his lips around Tony Blair, Ozzy Osbourne, Tom Baker, et al. It's John Coulter, everyone! Yeah. All right. And... The Coulter fans are the back there. And uh, we see how our resident big winner, Brian, got on when he tried to emulate the extensive talents of Victor and Amelia. Brian roller skating, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, before any of that, I want you to get involved, you punks, and little brother's big shout, and here's how. Nail it, smudge up, nice touch. 0871 200 1040. Text studio and your comment to 82188 or email us via the Channel 4 website, channel4.com forward slash BBLB. Today's topic is quite simply. Ask Jade anything, anything, ask Jade. Look, she says she wants... <laughs> practically encouraging you to ask her anything. I don't think it warranted a woo, but I'm sure Smudgy will be very happy with what he's put together. Get your text and emails coming in right away. We are on day 11 in the house, over a third of the way through, cheeky chops. <laughs> Interested in that, aren't you? Uh, in the last week, we've had flirting, bitching, heartache, lying and betrayal. But enough about Russell. Uh, in case you missed anything, here's the story of the week. This is Ian Wright. I'd like to test how you cope with sensory deprivation. Good humpback. Karate! <laughs> Save! You're an inspiration not just for people like me, but for everyone. Nathan, you made my day. Today. I want you to embrace the classic art of acting. Wow! You are going to be a mad German scientist. Oh, a doll. Ah! Why are you doing this to us? <laughs> I will, Norman, I will. This is Kelly Osborne. I love your mum! John, get your ass in the diary room. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Hello, housemates. This is the voice of Russell Brand coming to the house. You're the new nation's sweetheart in many ways, I think. Jeremy, go to the hatch, mate, cos... Uh... Amy's coffee's nearly ready. Can we get some flowers, please? Thank you, Russell. That's all right, any time. Well, I'm going to bloody ruin it for you, mate! <laughs> just all right, just, just forget it. Do you want a hug? Yeah, I'll do it. I'm really sorry. So who thinks it's John? Put their hand up. John. Well, to tell you the truth, it was my idea. But I don't want to... Like, I'm not pleased if it's upset you, mate. That would never be my intention. The housemates nominated for eviction this week are Jade, Victor and Jeremy. Kick her out. That's what I say. I think you're behind the times. Sideburns <gasps> are in and ties are out. Bridge the gap with Jade. So sweet. It's really nice. Me and you. Okay. <laughs> I've got friends forever. I personally prefer the, the feminine people, the feminine women like you. But... Are you prepared to forgive him? Of course I am. Oh my God! Yeah, don't think about it. It's done. No, no. It's normal in tradition. Men are the superior sex Who because the of the way we were born. I would like to say Look at us. We're muscle. We're muscular. We're more strong than women naturally. Oh. Which of the three who are up for prediction? Up. Let me start that again. Janet, the first myself. rule of uh, television presenting is know what you're going to say. Oh, no. Thank you, Mr. Bossy boots. And let me get a bloody word in edgeways, Jade. Peaches Galdorf. You like? I hate her. I'm a big brother house. This is Peaches Galdorf and oh, Phoebe Brown. Oh, we want the housemates to form two rival bands. Yes. Put on a good show. The first house. 
housemate to be evicted from the Big Brother Celebrity Hijack House is Jade. Do I really sound like that? Yeah. yeah. I didn't say... Jade. I don't speak like that. <laughs> yes. What was that? I sound like Brian, yeah. Uh, now, if you saw Friday's eviction, you know that Jade... I do sound like that. I uh, was pretty upset, but she's amongst friends in BBLB, so to cheer her up, we have organised a treat in the shape of a teddy bear's picnic. There it is. However, we need If you guest. go down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you go down in the woods today, you'd better go in disguise. And I think I know who that guest should be. It's Jade! <laughs> You're sat Thank right you. down here. Hi, guys. Some... Say hello to Jade, everyone. Hi, Jade. Very well behaved. How impressive. Got some Battenberg cubes, French fancy, <gasps> fairy cakes, and uh, some egg sandwiches. You were upset on Friday. How are you feeling now, hun? Um, I'm OK now. I was only upset, like... I was upset to go because I had too much fun, but, like... I don't know. I had a good time. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I made the most of it, so it's fine now. And also, what Jay kept saying to me, they're, they're booing me, and it was like, having been down here for the last seven years, that's not booing. That's a, oh. That was a really good reception. OK. <laughs> uh, now, um, what have you been up to since you left? Um, I've just been having a really good time, really. Just been keeping busy. I haven't even had a chance. I've literally see, seen one or two shows back. You've seen your mum? Because that's what I you... Saw, of course I saw my mum, yeah. yeah. I saw my mum. Oh, Careful, damn it. I'm getting um, excited. <laughs> um, were, were you shocked by the reaction of the crowd? Because, um, like I said, it wasn't that bad. But did you ex did you think it would be worse than it well, actually was? Well, obviously, like knowing that you're the first one to go, so I kind of thought, gosh, maybe mm. there's something I've done that's really upset people because I was going first, knowing that I was up against Victor, who had been really horrible. Yeah. Um, and then I came out and I heard booze, and that's when I was a bit like, oh, and, really? And, and the experience itself, was it what you expected? It to I, it, was, it exceeded my ex expectations. Oh, my God, I had such a good time. It was, like, the most amazing week. Because everyone says when they go in there, so the thing you never um, really contemplate is just how boring it is, but, but you, you didn't look bored I at all. I wasn't bored for a semi-second, mm -hmm. millisecond even. Maybe I that's wasn't bored at all. Really. I had the most fun, yeah. Now, uh, your friends and family, how they reacted to everything? Are they... Oh, they were all really proud of me. Uh, you know, I, I didn't do anything to upset them. Well, no, 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 but how do they see you in the house? Do they, do they see you as, as, you know... Yeah, I was me. I was just Jade, so... OK, cool. Uh, now, the hijackers uh, have played a huge part in what we've seen. Um, what was it like being taken over by someone different every single day? Uh, it's interesting, because you don't know what to expect, and it's always a fun game to guess from the, the music in the morning. Ooh, who's it going to be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's good. It's really fun. Yeah. Now, we have um, different teddy bear housemates yeah, here, as you can see. see we've, this is, for example, is Callista. She's got a musical score and, and quite large eyebrows or eyelashes. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. <laughs> uh, and that's Anthony there with the boxing Aww. one. Yeah. Now, we're showing you this because there's, there's been quite a few romantic liaisons mm -hmm. potentially Potential, right. in the house. But you don't put too much credence in all of this, do you? Because we've had really. Latoya and Anthony. We, we look like we might some... be having uh, Amelia and, you know, and Jeremy seem to be getting closer. Um... Nothing's happened yet, but it just. Amelia and Jeremy are good friends, and I kind of heard that they knew each other before the show. No. Yes, really? I did hear that. Um, so I don't know how true that is. Uh -huh. um, Latoya and Nathan. Um, Nathan is kind of a bit of a flirt and kind of is generally nice to everyone. I think Latoya quite likes him, though, but I, and if anything comes of it, I think it's more the fact that they think, ooh, we could get some kind of press from that. I heard them mention no. something about, yes, I did. I heard a mention of, oh, let's go with this, OK Magazine. No. Uh, yes, I heard that. Um, These are so, all our achievers. So don't we know. don't worry about any of this <laughs> OK nonsense. But, but, you know, if anything happens, it happens. But I don't really think it's real. All does. right, uh, we've got a little BBLB exclusive for you. We've got Big Brother to ask the housemates a question to ask you, essentially. We've okay. got three of the best here. First up is Nathan. Take a look at this. Hey, Jade. Love you and I miss you. I think I think you was heavy. Um, do you feel like? Do you feel hard done by to be voted out of the house first? Because I feel like you had been hard done by to be voted out of the house first. So what do you think? I tell you what, you're not wrong. He is a bit of a flirt. He's trying to crack onto you and you've left. <laughs> I know. Uh, it's not working. <laughs> um, no, I don't feel hard done by. Um, 
you know, it's just what happened, right? I had a good time. Like I said, I made the most of it, so it's all good. Good stuff. OK, next up, uh, one of your best friends, John. Hello, Jade. John here. Hope you remember me. I just wanted to know how different is seeing the Big Brother house outside and how characters are portrayed and things are in comparison to how you perceived it inside the house? Is it a big difference or no? Um, I think the house looks smaller from when I watched things on the telly. Yeah, I that's felt... everything, though. Everything looks bigger on telly. Everything. No, the house looks... No! <laughs> no, the... no, no, the opposite. <laughs> the opposite. I think the house, when I'm watching it, the house looks, from here, looks smaller than what... I... It felt really? huge to me. OK. Uh, and lastly, really space... lastly, we've got Amy. Oh, OK. Jade, if you have any at all, what is your biggest regret that you take with you from the Big Brother house? She gave that a lot of thought, didn't she, that question? <laughs> um, no, I don't have any regrets at all. None at all? No. OK, since you left the house, we've had two people in tears. Aww. I know. And uh, a big barney between Victor and Amelia. Do you think, to a degree, without bigging yourself up, you made them quite happy? There was a, uh, uh, a distraction, as it were. I, as much as maybe, because I saw some of the reasons why I was nominated, because I was too happy in the morning and stuff. Mm. Um, and as much as maybe that annoyed them, I think it did kind of keep a bit of a balance, because, to be fair, they're all quite... not negative, but they're quite pessimistic about things. I tried to see the best in most situations, and it was quite hard for a lot of people to do that, and maybe having a bit of balance kind of helped Which cheer up the house odd, in general. because we've got these people in because they are these kind of overachievers yeah. and have done so well for the age they are. And in actual fact, you're right, they are just a little bit... Ooh. They're really... Like, they're all nice people, but they're yeah, yeah, very, yeah. like, neg negative thinking. Like, they spend quite a lot of the ta days just, like, sitting around and... I'm so bored. And I was like, well, let's play a game then. And mm. then they don't want to play my game. Sure. Um, so it's like, well, you just sit around you and be bored. Play. You, are, you are definitely one of the happiest housemates I think we've ever had. <laughs> uh, and we, we do, in fact, think that every house should have uh, a Jade. Take a look. OK. <laughs> have you forgotten how to smile? Is your day going from bad to worse? Then call Jade, the professional ray of sunshine. Jade is skilled in the art of face pulling, group singing, and the seed in the hall, in the hall, in the ground, and the green grass grows all around, all around. Who are you? Well, what Hi. Said, said, oh. why? And fun and games. Oh, it's getting dusty. Don't hurt yourself because of that. Bless him, it's all right. I was doing it. Guaranteed to put a smile on everyone's face. She's happy from dawn till dusk. No, it's gone. Mensa's loss is your game. So don't delay, call Jay today and put a bit of sunshine back in your life. <laughs> Take it off his... <laughs> there you go. Um, lastly, Jay, like I said, we've got all these teddy bears here. You can pick any housemate teddy bear you like. What would you like? Can I have two? Yeah, OK. Anthony and John. Anthony and John, there's the big boxer. Uh, where's John's stereotypical Scottish one? There we go. Of course, John always looks like that with a kilt and his little hat on there. I'm keeping these, right? Yeah, of course you are. <gasps> OK. <laughs> Easily pleased that we like that. Uh, Jade, everyone. <laughs> Jade is going to stick with us for the rest of the show. Later, we're going to be finding out how Big Brother 8 winner Brian got on when we sent him off to learn uh, a roller display. Impressionist John, John Colshaw is here uh, to see who he was impressed with in the house. And uh, a hijacker who's at home behind the mic, Chris Moores, tells us about his day. Stay more faithful to us than Russell Brand was to Amy. It should be too hard. <laughs> Day 11, it's 7.17. Jade's still here, everyone, isn't it nice? Yeah. Now, later on, we're going to be giving Jade one last chance to show off her talent in her final moment in the spotlight on BBLB when she enters the Miss BBLB beauty pageant. Oh, my gosh, you're getting me nervous now. It is a pretty... Well, <laughs> the, 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 let me tell you, the <laughs> roster this year, is that what you call it, a roster? Mm. What do you... How many... What, contestants? What contestants, you yeah. The contestants this year are of a very high quality, really? so you're going to have to do very, very okay. well. Strong field. Although I have a feeling she might just win it. Before that, <laughs> um, how do you fancy going back to the house? <laughs> Exciting, yeah. With the notorious and infamous Katie Cape. <laughs> yes, indeed, the Cape of Destiny. Here we are, my love. If you'd uh, go that way for us. There we are. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <gasps> there we go. Wonderful. 
Oh, you go there front, and report then? for us, and we'll what? It's on the wrong way. Don't worry about that. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just get over there. Right? <laughs> oh, no, 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 uh, first, though, we uh, kick off part two as we do. We're having a nice, relaxed, slow-moving Sunday with Little Brother's big news. Way. At 1.56pm, uh, hijacker Chris Moyles took over the house and decided to victimise Jeremy by giving him literally the cold shoulder. Take a look at this. Jeremy, this morning you referred to the snow that I had strategically placed in the garden at massive expense as sludge. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, are you aware of the phrase snow angel? OK, Jeremy. Oh. Careful, don't slip. <laughs> it's not working. It's... Please continue this until I tell you to stop. Oh, Poor Jeremy gets it in the neck every single time, doesn't he? At uh, 247, Chris uses hijack powers again to highlight someone's private moment in a visit to the smallest room in the house. Take a look, this is genius. Attention housemates, somebody's in the toilet. You think they're having a poo-poo. <laughs> 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 That's hilarious. hilarious. <laughs> they're probably sitting on the toilet like, oh. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, that's actually I wish right. I did that every time. Hold on. <laughs> that you sneak out for a, a sneaky one in the middle of the night. Attention, Elsie. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that for that. Here it comes. <laughs> I think he's going to do it every time. But I went to the toilet. <laughs> yeah, I was. Yeah? Yeah. That's so Stupid. Yeah. Okay, so. Frank, Mary, oh. no. Oh, come on! Oh. <laughs> he hardly warrants a hug. Victor's furious, a threat to his masculinity. <laughs> Only I must know when I pull. <laughs> and finally, at 3.03, there was a housemate hijack, a visit from a former Big Brother champ. Who is this geezer? Take a look. This is Bigger Brother. Could Brian come to the diary room? Brian? <laughs> 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 it still smells the same. <laughs> you even got a yogurt top in. <laughs> oh, die on the I'm back! I'm back! Let me stay, let me stay! Please? Brian. You're evicted. <laughs> you have been evicted. <laughs> oh, cheers. Get out. We love that man so much. I love the fact Brian genuinely thinks he lives there. That's what I like. <laughs> uh, that was Little Brother's Big News. <laughs> now then. <laughs> Earlier on today, radio heavyweight Chris Moyles was in the hijack booth, so I'm going to travel back in time to meet him. Let's see if this thing works this week. <laughs> Welcome to BBLB for Big Brother 9. I'm your new host, Chris Moyles. Now, this year, on my insistence, it's a house full of busty blondes. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, that is a dystopian future I don't even want to bear thinking about. Let's make this thing work again. The saviour of BBLB. Mm. And Big Brother, how are you? Very well, Dermot. It's nice how to... Are you? How do you do that? Do you know what? Oh, I don't know. Uh, really? Just CGI. Wow. Um, it's so nice to have you here because, <laughs> I mean, you're, you're a massive fan and some, some years you're critical of it and some years you're not, you know, but you're always very honest about it. That's what I'm, we love about you. I've always said if you're a proper fan, you earn the right to slag it because you love... because we still love it. Absolutely. So you, you earn the right to be picky. To, but uh, full agreement from me. This... Can I just say, right, to everybody watching who loves Big Brother, this is like winning the best competition <laughs> in the world. It's the great... So, right, so, 
Yeah, probably everyone already knows, right? Okay, so I can see everyone there. Mm -hmm. I can see the diary room on that monitor there. Yeah. You can see. Um, microphone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, that button there opens the door to I the know. diary room. We've right? shown them all this. This is brilliant. Yeah, but I press it, that door opens. It's that. that press see, it now. If you press it, can you just shut it again immediately? And see, that's the thing, I don't know. Like, <laughs> can I be honest? Can I be honest? Yeah. I'm not 100% sure that there isn't an identical booth next door, which is actually the real one. <laughs> so, just in case I go, right, oh, you're right, let's just knock the door, bang. Brilliant. They are sitting there going like that. I don't think so. All right, what have you been up to today? You've dumped, what, 23 tons 23 of snow? 23 tons of snow. No, really? In the garden, yeah, that came down from Milton Keynes, fact fans. And uh, so that works all right. Jeremy just poo-poos everything. And he went, oh, it's just a load of sludge, isn't it? Oh, yeah, whippy-doo, well, we've got snow. So I made him take his kit off and go and make a snow angel. Yeah. Uh, which is fun. You've had Brian back? Brian came back. Brilliant. Which was a work to treat. We called him to the diary room and everybody went, what? And then he ran through the bedroom in a towel going, every time we get in the shower, big brother, you yoga tops. <laughs> and then just came and that was it. And then I never saw him again. Um, and now we're getting ready to do, we're going to do a pub quiz. Brilliant. And there is a wicked prize the winner. And, and what's Don't the deal with... it is. I sort of do. No, I can tell you, I'll tell you a tease of it. Yeah. Okay, the winner of the pub quiz gets to have a beer with me tonight in the secret bar. Where's the secret bar? It's a secret, dude. But where's in the house? Where is it? You, you know, what are you doing the acting thing for? No, I, I genuinely don't oh, do know. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Very bad acting. Do you want me to write it down and tell you? Yeah. Okay, okay, hang on. Uh, so this is serious now. Okay. Oh, shut up! <laughs> I only heard of such things. I'm telling you. Couldn't it? Uh, and you've got John Culture as well. John Culture is going to put... We're going to have two teams of housemates and one team of celebrities. All the celebrities will be played by John Culture. Brilliant. See if they fall for that. And then the winner uh, gets to go and have a beer with me in the secret location. And then there's... Which a... is like Albion. Like, literally, it's mythical, is my status. Of I, did, I only just heard whispers... Did you say Albion? Of... Yeah. It's mythical, isn't yeah, it? Is that what it means? Yeah, well, sort of. I, don't, I remember Albion Market, but that's all I remember... Oh. And what do you think of the housemates? I, I, I like I think they're a very good bunch. I like them. They, they don't really argue. They all get on very, very well. I have certain ones... Do we I like, like that, though? Others. Yeah, I don't mind it. Jeremy is a pain in the backside. You don't like Jeremy? He poo-poos everything. He's just miserable. Victor, as much as I'd love to have his body... Right, he's, he, he's an idiot. <laughs> Let's be honest. And who do you like? I like uh, I like Amy. Yeah. I'm just gonna, right. I like Amy. Yeah. I like Latoya. Even though she's done nothing, I, I, I like she's her. She's nice. Liam, I, I'll be honest, I find a bit creepy. Uh, Amelia, how can you not love that? Yeah. Uh, Victor, no. Anthony, brilliant. A lot of time for him. Callista does nothing. Mm. Jay, am I the only one that thinks Jay looks like David Williams? You and are sounds the Sounds like one. a David Williams character. You are the only one. Although yeah. I like... Jay, it, Jay's diary now, entries are brilliant. Watch it from now. And any time anybody asks him a question and he says no, think of computer says before it. Because he always goes, no. No, <laughs> that's not bad. Yes. Listen, love to have you with us. I'm finished. Nathan? No, we're done now because we've run out of time. Okay, yeah. right. So Can just, I just say, by the way... Just press the button, go on. Just see to? if it works. Yeah, go on. OK. Nothing's happened. Just leave it. It's open the door. Look. Bye, Chris. Are you off? How does he do that? <laughs> <laughs> Time for Gems of the Week. <laughs> there we go. Good week this week, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Loads of stuff going on. First up, uh, Liam, during a mammoth clean-up session, doing a damn fine Amy impression of framing a piece of toast and then looking into space for what seems like literally an eternity. Take a look. <laughs> OK, now there's the piece of toast framed. He's very happy with that. Is fine. Now watch. What is he staring at? <laughs> Still staring. This is at three in the morning, so there isn't anything to look at. Still staring. Still staring. Still staring. Oh, there goes Mr. <laughs> and he's still staring. 
Uh, at four, Mr Russell Brand showing the skills that have made him the country's favourite Lothario as he woos Amy. This is brilliant. Do you like chocolate cake? I, I do like chocolate cake in moderation, <laughs> yes. Add a bit of cake. Can I really? Go on, get it down, yeah. Can I take what I don't eat to the house? Don't give it to them. They're not worthy of it. They're not worthy of a second of your kindness or reflection. But what are you going to do with what I don't eat? Just pound it into the ground with my fist. Oh, that's a waste of food. So, are you single then, Amy? Uh, no, I'm not, actually. I have a boyfriend at home. What's he like? He's considerate. What does he consider? <laughs> Me. <laughs> well, that's easily done, cos I don't even know you and I'm considering you. Five and flowers a lot. Flowers? And, yeah. Cheap as chips. I could get you flowers. Can we get some flowers, please? And for he, Amy. And he takes me... He took me on a nice picnic on our holiday. You do like picnics? Mm. Where'd you, where'd you go on holiday? Um, to a Greek island called Naxos. What a dump. I could take you anywhere, anywhere in the world. I'm loaded. <laughs> Brilliant. And three is... Uh, well, Liam has been struggling all week to showcase his talents, and the struggle goes on. <laughs> take a look at this. No matter what they do, no matter what they do, no matter what they teach us, what we believe is true, no matter what they call us, however they attack. No matter what they take us, we'll find our own way back. <laughs> Did you make voice on? <laughs> and they say it's impossible to be lonely in the house. Uh, two, to the relief of the nation's non-bendy people, Amelia shows her skills don't extend to every area of public performance. In other words, she's the nation's worst rapper ever. <laughs> yo, yo. Oh, she's got the finger. She's got the finger. All right. I know our team is the best. Why don't you just go back to the West? I know the team, we are the best. We are better than all the rest. Yeah. <laughs> that right. would have been better. I don't get it. Would have been. <laughs> Suddenly, she looked completely uncool, didn't she? Just one second. And at one, Amy becomes a spokesperson for the nation's women and indeed most of the men with her frank appraisal of Victor's chat up lines. Take a look. For me, you know this guy, the white one? You fall from there like angel. And I love you. <laughs> I hate you when you cheesy, make this cringe. Cheesy, 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 Just absolutely no sense of humour there whatsoever when she said that either, was that I hate you and you make me cringe. Uh, that was this week's Gems of the Week, people. Oh, hello. Uh, still to come, John Corshaw on which housemates are making a good impression. Brian, there he is. Hello, John. Just sat in there for just two seconds. <laughs> He's doing some tasks. He's a busy guy. Brian gets his skates and a fetching Lycra bodysuit on, and Jade will be uh, letting her, or well, getting her moment in the sunshine in the BBLB Miss Beauty pageant. But for now, for your last chance to enter quite possibly our most exciting competition ever this year, one of you will get to control the house and be a hijacker. The deadline is midnight tonight, cinders. Uh, so get filming yourselves, no mucky stuff, and upload your videos. Here's how. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So far, loads of top celebrities have hijacked the Big Brother house. <laughs> hi -de hi And now you two have the chance to be a Big Brother hijacker. To begin with a shout, all you need to do is tell us what you'd do if you could hijack the house. Go on to e4.com forward slash big brother to find out more. Ah, oh, what should we do now then? Hello. Welcome back to uh, BBLB 70 Hijack. It's played 11 at 7.37. Let's go quickly over to Jade in the camera run, who uh, in rehearsal looks a bit like Bambi. Are you there, Jade? Hello, hi, Gemma. Can Hello, you hear me? Bambi, you are right? Bambi? What about, what's this bambi about? Bambi is like a, a deer in an animation. Yeah, but how do I look like Bambi? You've got big Bambi eyes. Um, and what's going on there? Um, well, I've just seen um, Anthony's been giving Amy a boxing lesson, which he did quite a lot. OK. Um, they just have got the results of their task, which I'm not going to tell you. Oh, nice. Um, is it odd being back there? So weird. So 
weird. It's weird knowing how close the camera people were to me. Yeah. Does that make sense? It is. I think it might get, yeah. be getting a bit too close because we can see your reflection. So back, back off. off. In fact, okay. back off completely and come back because we need you to, to take part in the uh, BBLB beauty pageant. Sure. Is that right? Okay. Lovely. All right. See you in a minute. See you in a bit. Bye. Bye, Jade. Bye. 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 Whisper bye. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, now, though, a man who takes Ozzy Osbourne, George W. Bush, and Russell Crowe to bed every single night. It's John Coulter, everyone. <laughs> John. Very well, sir. Nice Very to have well. you with us. Well. Now, listen, you are mm. fresh from, from Hijack. And yes, I'm sure indeed, you'll be going yes. back and doing a bit yeah. more in just a second. How's it going? Are you enjoying it? Yeah, very much so, yes. We, it's, it's nice to sort of confuse the housemates in a, in a sort of happy way. Because you're not a massive Big Brother fan, are you? But you, you've loved this series, this whole Hijack. Yeah, the, there seems to be... The, there's just fresh ideas in it each night. Yeah. It, it seems to constantly change. It's perhaps... Not quite as cruel, some might sure, say. Sure, sure. And uh, yeah, I've been I've been running with this series. Okay, so it? so what you've been doing in the house? What well, what can you tell us? Well, yes, tonight's task um, uh, was a sort of pub quiz, where I was uh, playing the part of a sort of celebrity pub team. Brilliant. You know, three or four people uh, providing the answers, and uh, I think that's that'll be seen at some time in the future. <laughs> And uh, yeah, tell us who they were, or? Yeah, uh, we had a little bit of Ozzy Osbourne in there. Brilliant. You know, like, uh, having a word with John for, you know, all the stuff that he said about Sharon and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, we did Mark Owen, because, you know, he won, uh, you know, previous, like, series, yeah. didn't he? You know, and that lovely sort of twinkly Manchester voice, what he's got, you know. Yeah. Uh, and who was the other one? Yes, I think it was Sir Terry Wogan. <laughs> oh, yes. I love Wogan. We thought that wonderful Irish brogue would and be rather charming. And did they, go, did they go with it? Yes, it was, oh, my God, Wogan, Wogan. Yeah, Brilliant. Yeah, there, was a, there was a bit of that, yes. So who do you like in there this year? Well, um, I think John, the, the, the politician, is, mm. is a good guy. I think in, in politics these days, we are a little bit short of characters. Yeah. You know, aside of Gordon Brown with that, uh, you know, a manner that he speaks and, and so on, and, you know, maybe Boris Johnson waving his arms around and so on, <laughs> bar. You know, a lot of politicians are very grey and a bit characterless. He'd be pretty good. Do you see John as a kind of a brown figure in ter the way he oh. enunciates and the way he talks? Are they, are they, are they quite similar in terms of, in, from an impressionist point of view? He's, he reminds me, in some ways, he's a bit like... Um, a John Prescott, but without the gaffes and a cool. bit more energy. And, you know, that wonderful way that, you know, he would deliver and say, Prime Minister, actually, shut up! <laughs> yeah, he'd give it some like that. All right, we've picked out a couple of... Uh, you've picked out a couple of John classic moments for us. Do so you think, uh, similar yeah. to real politicians? Let's take a look at the first one. Mm. Nelson Mandela, a hero of mine, said, it falls upon a generation to be great. We can be that generation... I believe that we are that generation, and let's show this country that we as young people aren't just leaders of tomorrow, but we are leaders of today. Thank you. Mm. Pretty heavy stuff. Yes, so um, Conviction who's, going on there. Who's that reminding you of? It's, it's a little bit like, you know, he, you know, this sort of body language, you know, a bit like Blair would, you know, speaking from the heart, you know, the chest puffed out, believe me, I mean it. You know, that's what he was kind of saying, and that look in his eye which said it was genuine, and yeah. just not being one of those, you know, very grey politicians all on message, you know. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He'd have a bit of oomph with him. Yeah. OK, uh, next one. I apologise. Oh, my God. Just... Is that fat? Uh... That's John getting <laughs> fat all over <laughs> his belly from a yeah. frying pan. What does that, that remind you of? I suppose he sort of baptised himself with hot chip fat <laughs> for some reason. I don't know. It's a happy little accident, wasn't it? But he, he was well, Scottish right. producer telling me that Scottish holy water in my ears. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and um, finally, we've got this one. Who does this make you think of? Take yes. Me. What's your name? David. Kneel down. Get out! Quickly! Get out! You're lying. No comment. We're going to ask you again. Why were you lying? What's going through your head? What makes you think you can get away with it? No comment. Answer the question! No comment. I don't want everyone to be scared at home. That's from tonight's show. You probably haven't seen that yet. Was it Andy McNabb took over the house yeah. and, and John? So, uh, who's you reminding you of there? Well, I just like the way that he didn't blink, he didn't flinch under that kind of, yeah, yeah, of yeah. onslaught. Just absolutely. I, th I think he must have been thinking, look, if I actually stand up, I can actually batter you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Lovely he stuff. Just, I, by the way, he didn't flinch. He and, wasn't phased. And in terms of housemates, uh, uh, apart from John, who's crying yeah. out for an impression for you? I think, um, I, th I think Jeremy. He's rather like a sort of grumpy Harry Potter, isn't he? <laughs> uh, a sort of, you know, you know, quite posh, as I remember him, you know, with a slight growl in the back of the accent and, you know, fairly monotone and... Um, Sort of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a spoil sport. He needs to watch that, I think, doesn't okay. he? Okay. Uh, and apart from today's hijacker, um, Chris, because I know you do a lot of stuff with him. Who's your yes. favourite? Uh, what in in the entire house? Ooh. I think for voices, 
I think, um, what's his name? Jay. You like Jay? Yes, because of the way that he stretches his sentences in that Jay, way. Jay, isn't it? Yeah. There's a woman over there literally shuddering about you doing a Jay. <laughs> she can't get the girl in grey there. She can't actually handle it. Um, and, and in terms of the hijackers, who, who you're liking? Uh, yeah, Russell Brand was great. Brilliant, wasn't uh, he? He was nice and cheeky. You know, you got that sense of his personality. Um, Matt Lucas, great kickoff there. You know, when he I was surprised by how Maddox. warm McCurick was. I thought McCurick would be far kind yes, of harsher. Yes, he did. Than he, was. he did. He, he wasn't as sort of grumpy and horrid as he as he's normally known for. It was rather nice the way that uh, he deliberately went out of his way to try and uh, make some peace yeah, between yeah. Uh, Jade and, and Victor. Brilliant. He tried to do it with lies, but yeah. part <laughs> in the right place. Not the point. <laughs> exactly. John, lovely to have you with us. John Coach, everyone. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Good <laughs> Now, for one man who hides his true identity to, to another, but rather than using a funny voice and a wig, uh, Andy McNabb takes things slightly more seriously. Take a look. This is Andy McNabb, and I've hijacked the Big Brother house. Stand by. Go. Stay still! Stay still! Stay still! Do it now! Hurry up! Do it! Quickly! Nice and slow. Keep your head back. No sudden movement. Stay still. Right, we're at the vehicle. We're going to drive them around for a good half hour now to disorientate them. They're out of their warm environment. Get them into the interrogation centre. Get them into another alien environment, which is their cells. Get a stupid girl. You think you're intelligent. You think you're clever. This is pathetic. You can see the big difference here between Anthony and Amy. I mean, the only thing I can see what's going on at the moment is her eyebrows. It's one of those little kid reactions that we, you know, we've had since childhood, and uh, you know, some of this stuff we can never hide. So when Andy took over the show uh, tonight, E4, 9 o'clock, we'd have loved to have interviewed Andy today, but if his face is seen in public, he is a dead man. But word is, he's still on site. Now, unfortunately, uh, he can't be with us, which is such a shame. We just want to thank Andy for, for, for turning up for the party anyway. Now, last week, we, we met up with uh, Big Brother reigning champ Brian and started off a new feature, Brian's Got Talent. Over the next couple of weeks, he's going to be learning skills of the housemates. And this week, he started off in style with Victor and uh, Amelia's talent, Roller Display. Take a look. Uh, good morning. It's absolutely freezing. I haven't slept, and now I've got to do some awful challenge that I can't actually do. So, Jackie, what is it exactly that I've got to do today? We're going to try and get a routine together so that the guys can see you and <laughs> see how well you've done. I find it hard to stand up because I ain't got skates on. <laughs> I'm just on my own two feet. Stand up. Wow! <laughs> come on, come up. Step the shots, step the shots. <laughs> OK, Brian, what we're going to try now is just a little jump. Wow, you did it, Brian. I think you've done absolutely fantastic with your rehearsals. Yeah. And I'm going to give you something now that's going to enhance your performance. Do I look like a plum or what? <laughs> Concentrated. He did everything I asked him to, and he did it well. I've had a great day today. I've learnt a lot. I think with a bit more practice, I could be up to Victor and the media standards. But at the moment, I'm going to down the shops. So I'll give me a push, please. I thought that was going to be a bit sort of faster pace than it actually was. I thought he was no. 
Uh, next week, Brian's going to be taking on another one of the housemates' talents. Uh, we can't tell you yet because we haven't told him yet. It's as simple as that. Still to come, uh, Jade performs uh, in this year's Miss BBLB beauty pageant. You stay with us or the bear gets it. See you in two. <laughs> <laughs>
I feel so cheated. Thanks to uh, John Jaden, of course, Big Chris Moyles. Watch Andy McNabb's hijack uh, on E4, 9 o'clock tonight. We are back with BBLB tomorrow at 7.30. We are now, of course, we're playing out every Sunday with a talented bunch of young ones. So if you want to show us what you can do, you can upload your video of you dancing. I'm asking, you're dancing uh, on E4.com. Uh, tonight, it's the Racky Sood School of Dancing with a very special guest dancer. Take it away. Yeah.